guys, how are you doing? It's Kat at spiritual-canny.com, awakening with you to the relationship you really want with today's free online tarot pick a card reading, which is on, <laughs> I forgot what it was for a second, it's a daily love reading. So today's reading is intuitive and remember it's also general, so some of the messages don't res might not resonate. If they don't, just ignore them, don't worry about it, it's quite normal for a general reading and just take whatever does. If you want your own private reading, it's £20 for 20 minutes and you get your reading within 48 hours or less. 48 is the maximum. Uh, check the description box below or go to spiritual-canny.com where there is a book a reading page. All the details of what to do and how to get the reading are on there. Um, my goal at Spiritual Candy is to help you to have a better relationship with yourself, the universe and with others. So for more free tools and books, please head over to spiritual-candy.com and check it out. So I hope you're all great and that you find today's reading helpful. If you do, please like the reading. It helps me to know which ones you're enjoying. And also, of course, subscribe and hit the bell if you haven't already so that you could be notified of the guide's messages in the future. Okay, so um, if you haven't chosen your group already, please do so. Um, please pause <laughs> the video so that you can do so. Here we go. Hi, number ones. How you doing? I hope you're great. So, we are looking at... Why is this not right? Oh, there we go. <laughs> I knew it wasn't right somehow. So, your daily love reading, your daily love message. What do you need to know to move your situation forward? So whether you're single or in a relationship, it doesn't really matter. It's about you, your energy, and how to move it on. Okay, you need to clear the fog. You've got a bit of an idea going on that's not working for you. It's become a bit mud muddy, a bit hazy, a bit fuzzy. You need to clear the flo flog. <laughs> you need to clear the fog. You need to get some clarity into your situation. How are you going to do that? Right. Well, you're going to get some help because you're going to get an aha, a revelation, a realisation. You're going to get a spark of a new idea. It may come from this reading. It may have already happened or if not, it will come in the near future. The key to it is though that it's about letting go of an old way of doing things or a way that you've been thinking about things or speaking about things that is not serving you. It's not that it's news to you. You already know it's not serving you. You've known for a while. It's like you keep trying, but it's just not working out. There's something you're trying really hard to get it to work and it's just not working. It's like hitting your head against a wall. You know, it's like it just isn't happening. And this is about recognizing that you're going to have to go back to the drawing board it's not working you're going to have to surrender give it up and move on so this can be about um being stubborn over a situation or you know you've got your mind set on a certain way of something working out or a certain person or a certain situation and you know it's not working because evidence is showing you you know life is showing you it's not working so they're saying you can get a real aha about how to move your love life forward by letting go of this situation. Clear the fog, let the new inspiration come in. But in order to receive something new, you've got to let go of the old. Thank you so much, number ones. I'll see you tomorrow or on a private reading. In the meantime, please like and subscribe. Hi guys, how are you doing? I hope you're great. So, you have actually got three Rider right Waite cards. Everyone else has got two. So how can you move your love life forward? Your daily love reading. It needs, uh, I think for you guys, it, you're probably in a relationship or you're interested in someone. Um, this could be about you though. So the general, the general message, whether you're in a relationship or not, is take no offense. What they mean by this is don't take everything personally. You know, when we take ourselves so seriously and we think that everything is personal, is a criticism, we're uptight, we take ourselves oh so very seriously. When we're in our true heartfelt selves, we don't take ourselves seriously. Spirit is really light-hearted. It's really open-minded and open-hearted. When we're very serious and very, very uptight about ourselves, this is our ego. So they're saying... Don't take everything so seriously. Don't take everything personally. 
don't take everything personally that the person does or, or, or people do. So regarding someone in your life, if you have someone in your life and it's not kind of flowing at the minute, they're saying, don't take it to heart, don't take it personally, it's not about you, okay? And then this is what it's about. If you are single, they're saying that, Okay, well, they're actually saying it's like, which doesn't make sense based on the cards, but intuitively they're saying this is about, take no offence, this is about taking things personally. So they're saying that this is either about you or somebody else, okay? Let's leave it at that. This is about you or somebody else. For the majority of you, if you are looking at a person, you know, you're interested in someone, then they're saying don't take it personally because it's about this. If this reading, if you're single, they're saying the thing to do to move forward is what I'm going to describe here and to kind of be aware of it and try to remove some of the blocks. So what is going on? Why are things not flowing? Because the sense here is that things aren't flowing. You're actually in a good position or they are in a good position. I'm going to say they because for the majority of you, you are inquiring about someone. If you're single, when I'm saying they, I mean you. So they are actually in a decent position to be able to move forward. There's some desire to move forward, some desire to be in this situation with yourself or, you know, to move forward. There's a desire to move forward and they're actually in a decent position. But there's a holding on, there's a clinging on. Um, this person is still fine-tuning the situation. They're kind of trying to make sure that everything's perfect, that everything's right, that everything's done to the standard that they want that everything's in place that everything's okay there's almost a kind of fussy holding on very practical very grounded energy going on here but it's actually probably covering up they're probably overworking um and and over perfecting for fear because they can't see where they're going because they feel this sort of sense of responsibility or burden. They're taking everything so seriously. So this is also about them. You know, so, you know, it's all gotten very serious and all gotten very heavy. And it's like a heavy burden. It's like, I've got to be perfect. That's the key here. There's a, there's a tone of, it's all got to be perfect. It's all got to be just so. It's all got to be exactly right. And the reality of the situation is it, 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 nothing will ever be perfect. Nothing will ever be exactly right. And there's a need to kind of <sighs> breathe in this situation and just kind of let go a little and put the burden down. So if you are single, it's like just know that you'll never perfect the situation. Just, you know, relax and go with the flow. If you're inquiring about someone else, it's like don't take it personally. This person... It's kind of taking everything really seriously. And because of that, it's kind of slowing the situation down. That said, the eight, uh, sorry, the ten of wands does suggest this burden won't last forever. So I do think they will put this situation down, but they're just overthinking it, overanalyzing it, taking everything a bit too seriously at the minute. And that's where the stumbling block is. So I hope this makes sense. So much love number twos. I'll see you tomorrow or on a private reading. In the meantime, please like and subscribe. Hi number threes, how are you doing? I hope you're great. So, oh look at this, wow. Right, so we are looking at your daily love message. We've got the devil and death and spread the light. We're gonna need to spread the light with these energies. This is cool, it's good, it's not bad because look this is this looks horrendous <laughs> but any of you who really used to tarot cards will see that this combination is not bad at all you've got spread the light the devil death the devil is about feeling attached being very stuck in five sensory or 3d whichever way you want to put it you know old template is another way of putting it that old way of doing things that very materialistic very status oriented feeling trapped in the kind of newtonian world and 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 also feeling trapped in difficult situations as well so it can be trapped in the prison of 
the conventional old five sensory way and not feeling magical and not feeling free and not feeling like a child of the universe and all of that it can be about that but it can also about be being stuck in an old situation like an, a, a worn out relationship or worn out um uh, or trapped in a family situation that's difficult you know the point is you feel trapped and it's all very clunky and heavy and hard so this can be you or your significant other but the good news is we've got death which is the transformation of a difficult situation it's a transformation from difficulty and this allows for a new situation so this isn't bad it looks horrible together when you look at it like the devil and death but what it actually is it's bondage and then releasing from that bondage and that's your opportunity or their opportunity to spread the light so if you are waiting for a person or you are waiting to be able to transform from a difficult or trapped situation and to kind of move into your light and into your joy and, and spread the light means be the light worker or the healer or the mender or just be that beautiful radiant being that you were sent to earth to be or came to earth to be you know it's you, your opportunity is coming or their opportunity is coming now this is an ongoing thing it's not just today this is an ongoing thing but this is a, a little nod to you that this is in the process of happening so much love number threes i'll see you tomorrow or on a private reading in the meantime please like and subscribe see you soon guys hi number fours how are you doing i hope you're great so this is lovely and very clear as you can see so your daily love message we've got start a new three of swords six of swords there's been a lot of pain and sadness heartache a lot of thinking a lot of overthinking a lot of words a lot of thoughts it's possible that you've had a lot of pain and difficulty in situations maybe people have said a lot of unkind things or you've had to hear some things that are not great you've had a lot of thoughts that aren't great um and really you've had a massive either sadness heartbreak disappointment in the love department the good news is that you and or your significant other someone in this situation it's moving on you're moving on from that pain whoever has had that difficulty that pain that sadness you're moving on from it um and you're leaving behind something that is not great is not good for you or not serving you you know the six of swords is about moving from the shadow into the light moving into healing moving on moving towards better situations you know and it can be about actually taking a physical trip as well but there's this sense of moving a distance away literally and or metaphorically and look it's towards a new start where you can have this light and this love and this joy that you've you know that you've been wanting because this is a real sense of not just heartache but disappointment there's a sense that something didn't work out it could have been um, it can be a breakup or it can be a it, it doesn't have to be current it can be an old wound that you finally moved on from but the point is here that you've had this difficult situation it could have been um, a love triangle as well the point is that if you can just if you're in this position if you're very much still in the three of swords energy feel the pain and allow it to be don't push against it don't try to get rid of it just be with it what you'll find is if you just stop wrestling with it but allow it to be and just be with it you'll be surprised how quickly it shifts it's the running away from it or trying to mend it or trying to fix it that tends to elongate and aggravate the situation if you actually accept that you feel terrible and just sit with it for a little while you'll be surprised it actually goes pretty quickly or it can heal because that's forgiveness acceptance is forgiveness so if you accept it you're forgiving not anyone or anything in particular you just letting it, you know letting the tension around it go and this dissolves it and then you remove the block and that's great because that means you're not carrying it into your next situation so then you move on clearly cleanly and into better days really and it allows for this beautiful new start so i hope that makes sense number fours so much love to you i will see you on tomorrow's reading or a private reading in the meantime 
Take really good care of yourselves and I'll see you soon. Bye guys.